Hi y'all, welcome back to my corner of the internet. <laughs> I today have seeds. Oh, my baby's hair, my baby hairs are just, they're coming in hot, they're coming in hot. Okay, so we have seeds from, what is this place called? Um, Floret, seeds from Floret. I probably shouldn't have put that on my face. Um, it's very late again. I can usually only do my videos at like 10 p.m. when I should be in bed. I just cleaned up the whole house, um, left a couple of things for my husband to pick up, um, and I should be in bed, but uh, here I am. So let's open my um, seeds together. <laughs> I told myself I wasn't going to get any more seeds two days before ordering this. And um, to top it off, <laughs> these are some of the most expensive seeds I've ever, ever, ever bought. <laughs> I mean, I bought pricey seeds, but these are, these take the win, whatever you want to call it. I always want to have sayings or say sayings and I never know the sayings so yep okay and my order thing make sure I got all my stuff order number order slip there we go oh gosh 11 items oh goodness I did too much here's that little floret book that they were talking about that shows you how to grow everything. Such a cute book. This is the first time I'm going through this. Starting Seed Basics, Seed Growing Step-by-Step -step Guide, Floret Growing Basics, Finias, Dahlias, let me guess, Ciliosa. <laughs> And uh, that's it. How cute is this? I just can't. Look at those pictures. I can't wait to grow the dahlias and just share them with my mom. How pretty. Many zinnias. I don't know if you watched my video on when I ordered these and how I said I wanted to collect um, seeds for the oncoming years um, and I didn't know how to do that. So I did do a little bit of research on it and what I'm going to have to do is put like little bags on each, my watch telling me it's time to go to bed. Um, the blooms that I do like, I'm going to have to put little baggies on them maybe get like a little if there's seed flowers that are close together just rub them together so that they um the pollen spreads um one fertilizes the other or get a little brush and grab pollen from one flower put it on the other flower and then back and back and forth um and that way the pollen has spread and each um flower is fertilized i think i'm saying that right and then I put the bag back on it so that nothing contaminates the, contaminates the flower. And then when it goes to seed, I'll be able to collect those seeds. So I'm very excited to be doing that. Um, all right, let's just go into the stuff that I ordered. Mm, I got the Ciliosa Coral Reef. Ciliosa Spun Sugar. Ciliosa Vintage Rose. <laughs> I didn't realize I did three of them because, uh, ooh, your girl's crazy. I don't really care that much for Ciliosa. This one looks like corals. Okay. Coral Reef. Oh, look here. That, that makes sense. The name makes sense. And then I have Ciliosa Spun Sugar. Spun Sugar. And then this one is super cool. Look at that. This one's called Vintage Rose. Look at how pretty those colors are. I can't. I can't. And then I have my Dahlias. Okay, Dahlias Bees Toys. Oh, can't wait. And then da 
Dahlia Can Can Girls. This is the one that I originally originally wanted. Look at how layered those flowers are. I originally wanted these, but this is my uh, bad habit when I tell myself I'm already paying for shipping. I'm already paying for um, one expensive seed packet. I might as well go above and beyond and get everything I want. So I ended up getting three instead of just the one that I wanted. And this one's Petite Florette. Super pretty. This one has, it has multiple petaled ones. And I don't know, it's just, it's pretty. So I'll be growing those and the dahlias that me and my mom like. We'll just, the tubers, the dahlias, the flower that me and my mom like, we'll save the tubers of. And then we have my zinnias. I have a whole area for all of this and it's gonna be right in front of my house where my dahlia tubers were last year. That whole area is very soft when you walk on it and we're planning big like landscaping um, stuff. So that's one of the beds that I'm going to um, use for landscaping and not really cut flower. But if I like flowers from this specific bed where I'm gonna grow these things, then I'll cut from it, hey? Um, but it's gonna be close to the house and I'm super excited, like right out the garage and to the right. Um, okay, then we have uh, Zinnia uh alpen glow yeah zinnia alpen glow yeah look at that look at how pretty that is mm, can you see it yeah you can okay then we have zinnia dawn creek pastels Ooh, how pretty zinnia's little flower girl mm. zinnia's Precious Metals and Zinnia's Victorian Wedding. I know to you they probably all look the same, but they're not, I promise. Let me just kind of put them all together so you can get a little glimpse of... Uh, let's go this way. So you can get a little glimpse of all of them together so you can see that they're not, they're not the same. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. I promise they're not the same things. <laughs> I know most of the people watching these videos are my family and friends and you guys just don't really care about flowers. <laughs> so you're like, oh, they all look the same, but they don't. Look at that. They don't look the same. They're so pretty. Oh. Losing it. I'm losing it over here. I just can't wait. And the packaging on these are so, it's so nice. Not that it matters. I hope that when this is the type that, oh yeah, you can open it and then it'll stick back up together. I'm not planning on using everything, although it seems like they're, they don't have a lot of seeds in there. Let's see. Planting, planting. I think, I'm sure these are all very different or maybe all the zinnias are very similar. Yeah, all the zinnias are similar. All the details are on the back. Glowing details, like if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Planting depth, one fourth of an inch. Germination soil temp, 60 to 80. My, downstairs right now, the general room is like 45. Um, but under the lights and under the, above the heating pad, it'll definitely be between 60 and 80, um, days to germinate, uh, three to five days, where to place them, place them in full sun, plant spacing nine to 12 inches, pinch them when they're eight to 12 inches tall, days to maturity, 75 to 85, and the height, 48 54 inches I wonder zinnias okay so zinnias because I'm planning to do like I'm not zinnias dahlias I'm planning to do zinnias in the front and then my dahlias in the back and probably my ciliosa one on maybe a few on one end and then the few on the other end and the dahlias let me go over this again so zinnias 
they max out at 54 inches and then Dahlia's lowest height is 48 to 72 inches. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that I'm gonna get them in between there so I can definitely layer these. So Zinnia's in the front and Dahlia's in the black back. Um, I'll probably go through these more in detail another day and just look at all of their heights. They all seem to be the same height. So this, this Dahlia Can Can Girl seems to be the shortest of them all. Yeah, it'll be like the shortest of them all. So I don't know. I might be doing Dahlia's. It's a, it's a really long patch. It's like what, maybe 20 to 30 feet long. So I'll probably do like Dahlia's in the front, in the middle, and then on the sides, I'll do like my zinnias. So it'll be like this, and then these on the sides, and then one on the side, and then Siliosa on the very end. I just can't flipping wait for this. And I think I'm going to do like a series out of it where I'm going to go from when I ordered my seeds, I got my seeds, starting my seeds, specifically just videos on um, floret, my floret flowers, floret whatever, um, floret flowers garden, starting seeds, the whole shebang. Um, okay, that's it for today. But I'll be back soon starting these, like very soon. I can't wait. All right, my husband's home. He's going to clean. I'm probably going to end up helping him clean and I'm going to go to bed.